Scotty Scheffler, the world's number one golfer, was just arrested on his way to Valhalla to start the second round of the PGA Championship in Louisville, Kentucky. Some of you say Louisville. Some of you say Louisville. Some of you say Louisville. Some of you say all kind of shit. It's Louisville. And make sure you know, apparently there was a hit and run accident that occurred right before Scotty arrived that killed a person. So I've done some deep diving. I've talked to a few folks that are actually close with Scotty. And of course, you know, I know some folks uh, that are in this world. And uh, it's crazy because these two share the same swing coach. And uh, he is on the scene, obviously, there in Louisville. And uh, it's been crazy and hectic. And listen, we're all going to make assumptions on what happened. Uh, I can give you some educated assumptions and I can give you some what really happened, what didn't. Uh, everything else from there is all speculation, hearsay. So we won't say anything that we don't know on this show. So Scotty attempted to enter the course to get in his warm up, as he always does hours early before his tea time. He was set off to tee off at 8.44 a.m. Eastern. Uh, that would have been about 20 minutes ago, uh, it, it, 5.44 a.m. Pacific. Now he's scheduled to tee off 10 a.m. Eastern, and it wasn't because of the arrest. It was because of weather. Everybody got pushed back, so it actually worked out for Scotty, the world's number one golfer, by the way. Um, here's what we know, all right? For all you golfers out there, it's not just golf news. It's a lot of it, it, it's it's important shit because he is the number one world's number one golfer, uh, and they are in a big tournament, the PGA Championship. That's a combination of the world's best golfers, live golfers, and PGA. Just giving you some insight. Um, he was arrested for reasons unknown, but he has been charged. All right, latest thing has come out: second degree assault, uh, which is a I believe a felony. We're going to dive into it. Apparently, this is what I know that happened that they probably aren't going to say. He accidentally or allegedly, maybe he was privileged. Maybe he thought he was who he was and played that, hey, I'm Scotty Scheffler. I'm the world's best golfer card. We don't know. Uh, we do know people are, in innate, are enabled at times when they make a little money. Uh, everything I've heard is Scotty is not that way, but I don't know him. Apparently, he... Made a left-hand turn into the clubhouse parking area. It's it's a, it's about a quarter-mile stretch to the actual parking lot. And there was cops on the scene because, again, someone was killed hours prior on a hit-and-run. What happened is he continued. He cut in front of the car to get by. Apparently, from what I'm hearing, his bumper caught the cop's bumper. He drugged the cop car several feet before stopping realizing what had happened apparently cops got out chased him down said what are you doing there was a, a confrontation uh we don't know what was said all we know he was detained arrested after he was detained you can be detained and not arrested fyi he was arrested after being detained he was booked okay he was booked we have his mug shot he was booked. This is crazy shit. He was booked in process. Jeff will, will, will dive into this. Um, let's bring Jeff in just so I don't want to talk over myself. Uh, Jeff, good morning, Jeff. Uh, What's up? Very interesting intro to the show today because we had some crazy groundbreaking news that occur, as, as it always does. Uh, Scotty Scheffler was booked. Um, he was also processed. Explain to the crowd here, the audience, process means basically you were arrested and now you have, uh, that means you were arrested. It's beyond being detained. Um, here's what I know about being detained as I have been detained several times in my life. Detained is they read you your Miranda rights. You, uh, you get handcuffed and you sit in the back of the car and they tell you, these are your rights. You can call, um, uh, and talk to a, your attorney or not. Um, we are not arresting you. They have to say that, though. You were not arresting you. You're being detained. Uh, this case, he was detained to start with, and then he was arrested. And apparently, he was arrested for second-degree assault. Uh, Darlington came out and wrote this. He has been detained by police in handcuffs after a misunderstanding uh, with traffic flow led to his attempt to drive past a police officer into Valhalla Golf Club in Louisville, Kentucky. 
The police officer attempted to attach himself to Scheffler's car, and Scheffler then stopped his vehicle at the entrance. Then police officers began to scream at Scheffler to get out the car. When Scheffler exited the vehicle, the officer shoved Scheffler against the car and immediately placed him in handcuffs. He is now being detained. All right, that was about an hour ago. He has since been released from the police station after process. What is the difference? Process means you are officially charged, uh, correct? Before a court, of course. Yeah, it was official. Yeah, and then he's processed into the, to the jail. They put the, the the uniform on him as they showed you in the mugshot, and uh, you know he'll book his way out through you know paying the the bail that, that they give him. Um, I, I would think he'll plead it down. The simple the assault thing will be thrown out probably, uh, and it'll just be traffic shit. But I mean, put yourself in the position of the police. Okay, let's say I'm a police officer there. I don't know who Scotty Scheffler is. I don't follow golf. I don't know nothing about that. And again, there was a crime that resulted in a death uh, several hours before. Um, I, I think we have to remember, like, we've heard a lot of athletes say, you know who I am? You know who I am? That doesn't mean you can break the law, right? And this is stuff where he, he blatantly broke the law. Um, when I was a kid, JB, um, I was detained like that. Uh, I was detained a lot crazier than that. Uh, I, they thought I was a murder suspect when I was a kid. I was with my mother in the car. I was 17 years old. Uh, and they detained me and it ended up I was the wrong person. But in this case, it's way different. He actually committed a crime and thought because of who he was, he could just go around everybody. So, Hey, something I mean, like this happens, uh, Jeff. Second round of a, of, a, of, a, of, a, of a major tournament, which is one of the four majors, uh, uh, the fifth being un, not a major, but we call it the major. Um, TPC, let me, you throwing your money at Scotty Sheffler, the world's best golfer who's won more tournaments this year already than anyone. Uh, or would you say his head's not going to be in it? I'm taking my money away. No, I, I think, I think what we'll find out is this is not a, I mean, when it's all said and done, this is not a particularly serious case. I mean, th that assault thing. Yeah, he's not away. running They're, from a murder. It's not OJ getting out and being able to play in the, the game. Yeah, it's not like he was caught with cocaine or, or something like that or, or whatever. Uh, no, I, I would actually probably bet him a little – I'd probably be a little bit more interested in betting him, to be fair. Um, yeah, he might yeah. Say, the world. I'm pissed. Let me ask you, is this a case of enabled, entitled uh, – Absolutely. I'm, I'm worth hundreds of millions of dollars. I'm the best golfer in the world. Uh, I, I can go by. You think he's early in the morning? Now, listen, here's a pro athlete who, who I can speak for for a little bit on some things. Adrenaline pumps different on game days. And this guy is in a mode. He's going several hours early to go do his professional craft, which is get on the driving range, get loose, go do through his routine. He's got his swing coach there, my buddy Pat's swing coach. They're there together. Uh, they're, they're getting ready to go and, and, and warm up. His blood is flowing. His juices are pumping. He's got a coffee, and he's ready to go. He's two hours away from tea time, and we see uh, a derailment here. We got something, you know, blocking the way to get me into my tournament. Uh, I don't know you cops. You don't know me. And his blood's flowing, and he does some stupid shit where he thinks he's above the law or above the regular average human, and he goes through there, and he finds out real quick that you're just an average Joe like the rest of us. Uh, is that a is this just something that you think happened here? Because there's no way this guy's like fuck you. I, 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 you know, maybe he said it after, but it's it, I've seen this before, Jeff, by pro athletes. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think it was just I, I'm gonna, you know I got a places to be, and to me they're way more important than I guess maybe there was some sort of traffic and they had to reroute people, and he just flies up the rest and you know thinks that he can plus remember if nothing had happened right let's just say like a, a deer was hit and they had a rerush of it. i don't know then i don't know if it would have been that big a thing but it's like we are looking for a vehicle that left an accident that killed someone and here's a random vehicle getting out of the traffic pattern different than everyone else cops on edge right is. cops are on edge right exactly we don't know who this is he obviously doesn't want to follow the rules. Maybe this is our guy, right? And, you know, they get him out. They don't know who he is. Look, I think looking back, I'm sure he'll probably try to, like, why did you know, you should have known, whatever, da, 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 but. He'll, he'll donate to a police fund. Sure. He'll, he'll do some things. Breaking news. <laughs> 
Tiger Woods was spotted at greeting him and picking him up from the uh, courthouse. Uh, Tiger Woods picked up Scotty Scheffler from the Louisville Police Department. Scott, uh, free Scotty. Uh, By the way, um, he's five strokes back. He's at minus four. I think he's what, 12th, sitting in T12 right now. I mean, he's way behind the leader, Shoffley, who's at minus four. By the way, uh, we don't have a... uh, we don't have the doorbell ring. Do we have a doorbell ring to bring Bailey in? Ding! Bring Bailey in. Um, Bailey, let everybody know, Bailey, real quick. Let everybody know, Bailey. I placed some money on uh, some certain golfers, and mm-hmm. I you call it a lottery ticket because I bet crazy. Um, yeah, it's kind of a lottery ticket, but. So I can win up to what? 900 grand? Oh, yeah. You can win 900 grand. Oh, Everybody out there, I'm not going to tell you who I bet because I got some little insider information on some things from some pro golfers that we've discussed. So, but Jeff, I have a certain somebody winning it that's not Scotty Scheffler. And then I have certain 10 certain people in the top 20 and the odds are through the roof. And right now I'm looking pretty good actually through get, through round one. So we're going to, we're going to keep everybody informed. Bailey, we're going to bring you back on the show later to talk about your Seattle Seahawks. Best. Uh, Good to see you. Not very, uh, you're not very pleased about. Uh, we're going to dive into that with. Uh, well, I will say, JB, a wild move by you to talk about a parlay you have after day one. I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, fuck it. I've already, I've already bet it anyway. It, uh, it's no. You're like me in horse racing when I have the five. I have five different races, and I hit the first two, and I'm like, oh my god, I had a big odds in the first one or two. I'm going to hit this thing, and then the next one comes out, and I lose. I only have one, so I have two separate ones. I have one with with a top, my top twenty finishers. Do you have Shaffer on it? On my top twenty. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, but, he's fringe, like he's in the top twenty, but he's you know. Yeah, it's it's day one though. Uh, now let's see if he has some nuts and guts today. If he don't fucking, if he falters today, I, I've lost all respect for Scotty Scheffler. You got to be a gangster, Scotty Scheffler. You got to be able to get arrested and fucking go ball. Uh. My thing is on, uh, but I have a certain somebody who was plus a lot uh, to win the whole thing, who uh, who who uh, ah, I, I got a good feeling about. Um, so we'll see. So there, there it is. Bailey. But what I don't. But, but what I'm trying to understand about him teeing off, he has to tell what you say, ten thirty. Yeah. I don't know how would that happen because when you get booked into a county jail you then categorized and they put you in a cell and then you know by the time the process figures itself out i mean you still have to like you have to go to like a preliminary hearing like i don't i don't understand nah nah you get you can get released on your on or which i believe he was um remember he's got the world's best lawyers i'm sure that but 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 what i'm saying is like that still takes time to do though yeah yeah he was arrested so we got a mugshot on him and obviously, now remember though, I've been arrested in certain podunk states and cities. They're not LA, Atlanta, Chicago. These are are there's there's very very few people that got arrested at the time he did this morning in that time in that size of city. Uh, in LA, he's stuck there, and lawyers are trying to scrap and find a way to get him out. And it's going to take a while to process that dude. It took me 24 hours to get processed in LA County when I was younger. So obviously Louisville, not a very big place. Probably yeah, not a remember, lot of action. To all you fucking people sticking up for this guy, if this were you and you had to go to work, you know damn well you wouldn't be getting out real quick like he is. So just remember that. Oh, no, we we'd all be in there right now. So yeah, just, just remember that, that when you- And that's what I'm saying. You. you got a lawyer, you got big time people in your corner. Hey. Get me the fuck out of here. Let's go call the judge. We know people in Louisville. This is where a fucking major golf tournament is. I'm sure the judge there is a member of Valhalla. Like, let's keep it real. There's a lot of these things that happen. Um, and Scotty's already out, and he's warming up as we speak, I'm pretty sure. Listen, he's not, he, has no, he has no record. He's got no pr- criminal prior f- offenses. They, they saw him, and they found out who he was real quick. He's not a threat to nobody. He know they know what he was doing by that time. The news was already out on every fucking news channel, probably that they're watching in the goddamn cells themselves as cops uh, with their donuts. You know they got ESPN on, and they're like, "Oh fuck, do you know who you arrested? You fucking slapdicks!" 
Holy shit. The officer will probably got fired today. He's out of job now. No, no <laughs> more, no more police now. By the way, speaking of the law, did you have you seen on TikTok? It's it's been viral a lot recently. Have you seen this lawyer that's going viral on TikTok? A lawyer. Huh? I, yeah, this guy Jayoma. Have you heard about this guy? No. Bro, this guy like is he's one of these lawyers that'll get the his the criminals that he gets off it. He'll be like, who's the best lawyer? And it'll be like Jayoma. And he'll say, What'd you do and what I get you off for? And it's always people that like assault of a minor, like really bad people. And he's like, so, he's like so happy. He's like, look, I'm getting all these people <clears throat> off. You got to get this guy up. But maybe someone's seen it. It's crazy. The guy's like super proud of it. Hey, I got, I got something that's on the Scotty Scheffler. We haven't even started the fucking show. This, this happened. We wanted to get it out there to the people that did not know about the Scotty Scheffler thing. And I want to finish the intro to this with, with Jeff. Now, listen, he was released. Um, the courthouse is about roughly 20 minutes from the course of the police station, the jailing station. Rumors are second degree felony assault charges. And there's all kind of rumors out there floating around right now. I'm getting text messages as we speak. I reached out to some folks and I've heard some wild things. Okay, just FYI. The irony of the story, though, is this. We aren't arresting pedophiles here in California or in Kentucky and allowing anyone and everyone into this country. But we are arresting golfers trying to get into their event. That is the irony of this story, in my opinion. But again, to Jeff's, to how Jeff started the show off, he's exactly right. Right now, we're on eggshells in this country. And if I was in a, a blue, um, you know, if I'm wearing blue right now and as a police officer, I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. You know how hard their job is right now. I don't know what to do. And listen, we're not pocket checking every single human being. We are arresting whoever the fuck impeded into our area after someone just died. So look, it is what it is. I don't care who you are. Jeff stated earlier, hey, if you break the law, you break the fucking law. It doesn't matter who you are. But we are seeing on the other side fucking wild idiots being let go for way worse than what apparently has happened here. But again, it's a hard spot. It's a hard job to be in as a police officer. I'm just telling you. Well, my fault. I think there, there are certain cities that, that have decided we're not going to prosecute anybody, Philadelphia, LA, places like that. But most cities still believe in law and order. Um, I, I would be curious, where is this in terms of Louisville? Is this in Louisville? Do they have Louisville? Yeah, it's right or? outside Louisville. Yeah, yeah, it's right outside Louisville, Valhalla. Um, okay, so it, so it's Louisville Police Department that did this. Yeah, Which, yeah, yeah. I mean, Louisville's not a. I mean, Louisville's not, you know, Independence, Kansas. I mean, it, no, it's no, no. It's a, yeah, it's the it's decent size, but it's not. It's not. It's not Chicago, L.A. But I yeah, mean, I, I think in the end this will just be simple traffic violations, and that'll be that. 